everyone welcome to my channel uh virgo this is your october reading i'm a little late so we're gonna dive in real quick second house uh libra your second house is libra you have the sun mars mercury's retrograde but it will be going direct on the 17th um on in your third house you have venus going your third house is scorpio you have venus going into sag your fourth your fifth house, Pluto direct, fifth house of Capricorn of career and stability and legacy. So when you combine your fifth house activity, which is Pluto direct, right? And it's Capricorn, as I said, and your second house, Libra, I feel like you're wanting to upgrade. When I said in your energy, the, the, the main word for you, Virgo, was upgrade. You want to upgrade your career you, or either some of you completely change it. Um, some of you, you're picking up something you started that you put aside, you're getting back to it because now you have ideas, you know, it's brewing, um, it's creative and it's it energized. Um, some of you, it's in the home. Remember Venus is in your third Scorpio going into Sag, your fourth. Some of you are wanting to move, get a bigger place or get a smaller place. Anyway, you want to move location. There's a location, uh, a move, basically. Uh, maybe you're adding a studio to your home. There's definitely an upgrade on your career front and your living situation. At least a desire for an upgrade. So it's starting to manifest itself. And maybe you're just starting in that direction. Now, um, fifth house, like I was saying, it's Capricorn for you. So Pluto direct. That's that career change, your passion. You know, picking up an old hobby or old project. Um, your sixth house of Aquarius, you have Jupiter and Saturn going direct. Okay, I didn't tell you guys the date. Pluto's going direct on the sixth, the, on the day of the new moon in Libra, tomorrow. And um, Jupiter's going direct on the 18th. Mercury's going direct on the 18th as well. Venus is entering Sag on the 7th, two days from now. Mars is um, get, going into Scorpio on the 20th, and the Sun obviously will go into Scorpio as well on the 23rd. So deep, deep passions are arising, are, are awakening for you. And this is good because it's like, huh, it's always nice to pick up something we really like, we're excited about and somehow life happened or we just didn't get around with it. We needed some extra cash or... We were not feeling creative at that moment. It's always exciting to pick up something new. It's almost like that childlike energy, six of cups energy I'm feeling for you guys. So let's get into it, Virgo. Let's light some more Palo and we'll jump into your reading. My son and I had um, stomach flu. We nipped it in the butt real quick so it didn't manifest itself like fully. Plus us, it wasn't, we didn't get the runs. It was most likely, uh, mostly, sorry, I'm speaking fast. I need to slow down. Mercury's retrograde, so it was mostly um, throwing up, but it only lasted like for 24 hours. I nipped it in the butt real quick. However, it's just so exhausting, right? You feel so exhausted. Oh my gosh. And then you feel washed out. And look at my bags. We feel better now, though. Okay, Spirit, what's up for Virgo October? Hi, Virgo. You guys are doing well on the other hand, right? Virgo, please, Spirit, let's move these notes. Yeah, this is the only decoration I got so far. I told you guys I'm, I'm having a party for my son for Halloween. I love Halloween. One of my favorite holidays along with Thanksgiving. And Christmas so um, we're waiting for decorations so so far I only got these sad maple leaves they actually light up I don't know if you guys can tell they light up at night it's really pretty very very orange see exactly what I was just saying you guys exploring wilderness I mean wildness werewolf see it's that full moon, it's like desire, that energy of like wanting to oops, pick up something you, you, you put down or revisiting a project or something. It's this energy of excitement. 
of uh, just like Virgo. I mean, you guys are very organized and you really, you know, when you put your mind to something, you set it up, you know, and, and you go for it. Very, very, very um, disciplined. You're very determined, driven. So I feel like this is the energy you're getting back. Your drive. Okay? So exploring wildness. Exactly what I was talking about with, you know, your fifth house, um, Pluto direct, and your second house, the sun and Mars. Your second house, Libra. You know, wanting to meet people, wanting to get out there, connecting. Maybe you guys have been in hermit mode for a while. I mean, it is your card, right? We tend to do that once you're confused and you need time for yourself. So this is the flip of the coin. Now you're getting out of hermit mode and you're ready to just like go out there and explore wildness. Let's get an animal oracle here. Spirit, what's that for? That one jumped. Virgo, power, deer. So much energy. The deer. The deer is wisdom too. It's a very, very ancient creature and the antennas. And you have both full moons here on these cards. So it's like, again, that transformation, not the transformation, the Scorpio type of transformation, but it's, I can't say it any other way, but just recharge, uh, recharge, upgrade, recharge. Obviously, the recharge brings an upgrade, but we recharge when we've had a moment of stagnation, right? I think for you, Virgo, the moment of stagnation is over. And you're starting to feel it, starting to bubble up. Your creative, creative, creative mind is starting to flow. Some of you maybe are writers. You had writer's block. You're picking up the book again. And you see that portal here. It's like you see clear. The path is clear now for you. You know, somewhere where you were stuck. Now it's just suddenly like opening up for you. Things are opening up for you, Virgo. Let's get into Tarot. I got the good Tarot out because I'm not going to be doing um, the original. I want you guys to see the cards a little bit. Okay, that's better. So, werewolf and deer. Mythical creatures here. You know, because in the Halloween Oracle, which is this one, they don't have animals, really. They usually have, like, skulls and um, pumpkins. So it's funny you got two animals, you know. It's that wildness and the power, the inner strength, the cry. It's giving me also, I'm seeing the Leo card, courage and determination. I'm really drawn to this lady here. It's beautiful. She has the antenna, the deer antenna. See how the moon is sitting right on top of her head? That's that illumination, that creativity I'm talking about. Ideas. Lots of ideas. Oh, the deer card is an 11 too, so it's definitely a door opening here for you. A new energy coming in. realization ready for the new and the exciting my stomach is growling okay spirit we're gonna get three cards here from the good to row and then we'll get some more cards spirit what do you have for virgo please october Get the third one while we're at it, and then we'll see. It's so rainy today here. I mean, it is fall, right? First card. Oh yeah. Messenger of Earth. There's a lot going on in your headspace. See these cards? It's kind of the same energy. 
the crowns, the flowers, it's blooming, it's, it's harvest, it's growth. So the messenger of earth is the message is the page of, um, page of, sorry, pentacles. So that new project or that project you put, you started and you just were not, um, inspired or something blocked it. It wasn't ready. You were not ready or you didn't have what it, um, needed to, to, uh, keep on going with it or finish it. Now you're getting this, you're getting it. And for a lot of you, it's creativity and inspiration. You just didn't have it in you. You didn't have the creativity, the inspiration. You were blocked. Maybe you were dealing with other stuff. Some of you, yeah, maybe you were moving. That's why. Um, logistically, it was not um, just working. You just have a lot. You, you had a lot more going on, and you didn't have um, the energy for this or the inspiration. I repeat myself. So, Page of Pentacles, picking up that project. A uh, lot going on in the in, in the mind, but in a good way. I mean, Mercury is retrograde, going direct on the 17th. If you're not feeling this, you're definitely going to feel it once Mercury goes direct. Because, I mean, you are Virgo. Yeah, you're ruled by Mercury. You are. You're ruled by Mercury. It's your planet. So what else? Ooh, judgment. 20, the call. See? The portal. Bringing me back to that portal. That ether, ether energy. The divine energy. The spiritual energy. The higher knowledge energy. Judgment. It's that realization. I told you there's a lot going on in your mind. What is judgment in the original right away? It's, um, you know, people waking up. Coming out of the coffin. It's like. Archangel Gabriel toots his horn and it's like, oh, you know, and it's just a, a wake up call. It's, it's, it's the call, the wake up call, right? Again, this area for you, Virgo. And when I say this area, it's not <clears throat> necessarily, you know, crown chakra, third, you know, third eye. It's the mind, the vision. Right? Which is your energy. Last but not least. Wow. King of Earth. King of Pentacles. See how you go from the page of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. This is the growth. Again, the antennas. See? Lots of antennas here. Crowns, antennas, flowers. So, this is it. You're progressing. This is the promise. See, now you're ready. Now you're confident. Now you're the king of pentacles. You started young and now you're mature enough. You're ready. <clears throat> Everything is in place. You finally are open to it. You finally are getting the ideas. Your vision is clear now of how to go about this and make it happen and make it uh, abundant. King of pentacles is freaking abundant. And it's, it's, it's a male energy. It's a masculine energy. So it's driven it's organized, it's determined, it's courageous, and it's boss energy. And these two cards are right on each side of power and call. You see? Very significant, the way these cards just came out. All right. Sorry, the power one was here. The call card is in the middle. It's that the idea page of pentacles judgment king of pentacles very very good let's see what plan is this planet house or zodiac is energized for you in october virgo i just heard uranus uranus is in taurus taurus is your ninth house Taurus is your ninth house. So that, again, is that higher knowledge, the vision. Normally, it's Sag, but for you, it's Taurus. Money, investments, um, you have the tools. Now, you're, you're, it's almost like you're, you're a magician now. You, you definitely, see, you have to gather all the tools, the, the pentacles, the, the, the creativity, the money, um, 
the air that you had to write something down, the project, right? Um, the cups, your heart had to be in it. Now you're ready. Now you're ready, okay? So let's see. What do we have for Virgo, October Spirit? I don't know what I'm going to call your reading. Recharge? Mm, I don't know. The necessary means. Mm -hmm. Second house. There we go. Talking about second house. Taurus energy, but for you it's Libra, right? Sun and Mars, energized. Mm. Your second house is Libra, Sun, Mars. Mercury, your ruler is in retrograde. Like I said, it's going to go direct on October 17th, 18th. Your second house is lit here. Money, assets, finance, and the things that you value. Yep. Exactly. That's what I, that's what I just said. The whole reading, that's what I kept saying. Things that you value. Things that you had put your heart into. Six of Cups energy. You're, you're picking that back up. Because now you're, you have the tools necessary. Everything is in place. Everything is flowing. It's the perfect time now. And there's definitely money involved here in a way that maybe you just, yeah, now you have the money, the financing to do this. Some of you, like I said, it's moving. You've wanted to move for a long time. Some of you, it's, a, it's as simple as, well, simple. No, it wasn't simple for you. Not at all. It actually kept you up at night. It was stressing you. Some of you, it's not a project. It's, well, it's a project because moving is a project. Your dream home, you know? So whatever it is, it's something you really, really dreamt of. You picked it up. You dreamt of, not dreamt of it. You, you started it. You started the process, but it, it, things kept getting in the way. And now it's finally um, happening. Now it's finally happening. Did I cut the deck? Okay, let's do it again. It's finally happening. Okay. Something you valued and you desired is now happening because now you have the tools and the means necessary to make it happen. In a nutshell, what did I just say? I said recharge, but then when the second house came out, energized. Energized. I don't know what I'm going to reading. Ebb and flow. Yeah, it was working, then it wasn't working. It worked, then something happened. You couldn't control it. I mean, ebb and flow. This is the ocean. The ocean is like, I mean, the moon. Emotions have an impact on the ocean. Remember, we had two full moons here in, in your reading. This is what was happening. It just wasn't ready. Your, your head was not in it. So many other things you had to deal with. Your emotions were all over the place. Now that you're calmer and more centered, you're starting to, you know, Glue, glue and, and put the pieces together and everything is starting to flow the way it's supposed to. Okay? Like I said, it's something you really desired. <clears throat> and um, it was frustrating for sure. Definitely frustrating for you sometimes. But it wasn't ready. You know, divine timing, like we said. I know people are divine timing. Some people hate to hear that, but it's the truth. Divine diamond. I mean, we do have free will, but you can't force something that's not meant for you or that's not meant to happen at that time. Laws of the universe. Okay. So there we go. Um, I love you guys, Virgo. Take care. This is super exciting, definitely. And I will see you guys on my new moon reading that I'll be doing on the 7th. New moon in Libra. Yay, your second house. Assets money things you value okay so love you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe i hope this message was helpful and i will see you next time bye